to show you how to serialize a dictionary. Um, if we take a look at our enemy script, it has a level which serialized properly, but if we look underneath, we'll see that there's a dictionary that didn't get serialized properly. Why is that? Even when I hit play and we create all the dictionary items, it doesn't show up. So that's because Unity doesn't serialize dictionaries. I'm sure there's some way they could do it. It might be like intensive on the CPU or something. I don't know why they don't do it. Anyway, so there they, these values are there, but we can't see them very easily. We could do some debug logging, but that eats up a lot of um, CPU. Um, and it's not exactly pretty. Um, I also put in a, the ability to level, not level up, but increase the value of agility by pressing W. And so we're going to get to see that in action, show some of the downsides. But um, we have some enums called stat types, and that's how we can easily find if a character has a stat, and then we can get the value of the stat. All right. So what we do is we create a level script editor. Uh, and why I called it that is we have a level script um, right here. And we go into the editor uh, folder that I created, and we made a level script editor. What this does is you basically take all this code and customize it. So you would change this to whatever script you're trying to uh, draw by the draw, you know, custom in the inspector. So if you had a experience script, it would be type of experience, let's say. Um, and then you inherit from the editor. And then what you're going to do is you're going to override the default inspector. This is this is the thing that's drawing the level field currently for us, right? So I overwrote it, but um, it still shows the level. How? Well, that's because I have draw default inspector. So when you put this script um, in your editor, this is copy this, and then you 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 know write the script you want to make displayed custom. It's going to just draw all the default stuff by default for you. So now we want to actually write out our dictionary information. Um, since that's not being done for us by Unity, so I create a dictionary uh, dictionary field called stats uh, variable, whatever you want to call it, just to store the stuff in. And then what I do is I initialize it here, and then we'll go through the more complex stuff here, which is basically this is going to grab this the dictionary off of our target script, which is right here. That's how we get it. So the target script is the one that's on the object. Um, and then it's going to check if our stats are null. If they're null, we don't do anything. But if they aren't, because we'll also get an error if we don't do this, but if they aren't null, then what we want to do is we want to cycle through each key value pair in a dictionary, which is it's going to grab each, it's going to go through it's, and loop through the dictionary, and you'll be able to reference either the key or the value. So in this case, the key is an enum called stat types, the value is an integer. So we say for each key value pair, which I've named KVP, in our stats dictionary, um, create an int field, and we're gonna take the key, which is this, you know, stat types dot agility dot strength, and we're gonna put it in a string, and we're also gonna get the the key value pair value. We'll put that's gonna go in the int field. So now what happens is if you hit play, not a lot of code just to be able to get a simple dictionary to show up, which can save you some hassle, especially when you're doing things with like. Do I, have to, I think I have to re compile this real quick. You notice it didn't show up because we didn't have anything in our dictionary. Now that we've created the dictionary and added the items, we can see them right here on our enemy script. Um, I'll press W to increase agility three times. Um, but you notice agility, agility didn't change. And that's because the editor GUI didn't really update. So all you have to do is, is move it over and it'll show up. So 103. Um, and that's how you can test uh, and, and easily see stuff in the um, in your dictionaries. Uh, it might not help a lot of people, but some people who just want to quickly be able to look at their dictionaries, this this can be useful. So I'm gonna take a.